I'm a molecular geneticist, so I'm interested in what your genes do. I've had a few different discoveries. When I was a PhD student, I was working on genes that cause lymphomas and cause blood cells to turn into cancers. So we discovered a particular one of those that's frequently mutated, and we proved that it was the cause of those sorts of diseases by creating an altered version of that gene and reproducing the disease. The deep understanding that we've gained about the immune system and how it works and the tools that we've developed to study it in humans and in mice means that we, um, we can understand the immune system deeply in other places. And so what I've been doing is making tools uh, to try and study the Tasmanian devil and the koala. And as some of the work that we've done there in translating our understanding of the, um, the immune system of eutherian mammals is um, to try and develop a vaccine that can be used in the field against that, uh, that transmissible cancer. McFarland Burnett started early on and he brought immunology and immunologists into this institute and there was the discovery of the organ that produces an entire class of lymphocytes. There was the discovery of T-cell and B-cell interaction to make an immune response that happened with Graham Mitchell and Jock Miller again. And Gus Nossel, of course, proved the one cell on antibody by doing the experiments that proved Burnett's theory of clonal selection. And we've had other work here on immune disease and the breaking down of tolerance to self. So at every big question in immunology, there's been a contribution from this institute, I think because of its really strong history at the very beginning. <laughs>